what's up y'all if y'all want to figure out how to lay and slay your brows stay tuned for the rest of this video What's up everybody i'm here with a eyebrow tutorial this is my first ever youtube video guys so bear with me as of right now i'm taking my spoolie on the back of my eyebrow brush the eyebrow brush that i'm using is from absolute new york and it's in the color smoke so right now i'm taking my brow pencil and i'm outlining the shape of my eyebrows this is going to ensure that I have like a guideline to work in when I go in and fill it and it also makes I'm doing light strokes so that it doesn't look like you got drawn on brows because you do not want to have drawn on eyebrows that's not a look so we're taking our time and we're outlining our brows to get that perfect shape and yeah so I'm gonna let you guys watch <music> So as of right now, as you guys can see, I'm starting to fill in my eyebrows. So as I'm filling in my eyebrows, I'm using light strokes. I know it looks like I'm going a little bit hard and like rough, but I'm not like I'm gripping my pencil very, very light because if you grip your pencil too tight, you're going to get drawn on eyebrows. And I told y'all, that's not cute. We don't want Nike check marks on our forehead. We want nice brow looking hair like strokes. So make sure you do that and I'm also going in the front and doing the same thing but because the hairs on the front grow outwards so I'm making sure I fill in my brows in the front and we're not doing it dark we're doing it very very light because naturally your brows go from light to dark. And you guys, I'm going to be doing the other brow the same exact way. You're going to just go ahead and underline it very, very lightly just to get your guideline of where you want your brows to be when you get ready to fill them in. So, yeah, just watch the video. If you have to rewind it, replay it, do that, sis, because we all got to have slaying brows the rest of 2019 and moving forward. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going in with my spoolie again. And now that my brows are filled in, I'm going to distribute that product by brushing it through very, very lightly throughout my brows so that my brows can have an even distribution of product because you don't want it to be too light and too dark in places. Then I'm going to go in with my brush. And this is like a cheap wet and wild brush. It was like 99 cent from Five Below. And I'm going in and I'm cleaning up all the mistakes that I've made with my brows. Like literally y'all, y'all can fill in your brows crazy, but concealer, concealer will really make or break your brows. So make sure you're using a concealer and this is the can't stop, won't stop concealer. And I believe this is a, the color soft beige. So yeah, take that concealer and clean it up. And I'm gonna be doing that to the top and bottom brow. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm outlining the top of my brows. I see a lot of people not underline the top of their brows, and I don't know why. No, some people's brows actually be coming out good, but I think like it looks a whole lot better when the top is outlined, just so you have that like standout brow. I feel like it makes your brows look a lot neater and put together. So I go ahead and just outline my brows. You can skip this step if you want to, because not everybody likes to outline the top of their brows. 
but I always do it because I feel like it looks a little bit better to me so yeah All right, y'all, this is the most important step. You wanna make sure you blend out that product. Do not leave any white residue left on your brow, sis. Blend, blend, blend your life away. Like, it, your life depends on it. Because you don't want, the color that I'm using, when you use a concealer for your brows, you wanna make sure you use a color, at least one shade lighter than your skin complexion so that your brows can have that highlighted effect. But make sure you blend that mess away. And of course, when you put on your foundation, it'll all like come together. And I'm gonna have videos on how you blend in your foundation with your concealer from your brows. I got you, I got you covered, okay? But just make sure you blend, 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 and blend your life away. Hey y'all, just to ensure that my brows or the concealer is really blended into my skin, I'm going in with a beauty blender as well. Use your fingers, a beauty blender, a brush. Use whatever you gotta use and make sure that concealer is blended in. That's the most important thing. All right y'all, now that my brows are blended, drawn on, concealed we can go in and start making those little perfections I, I like to go in with the pencil just to fill in some sparse spots that I may find or shape up my brows a little bit more and guys with your brows take your time take your time when it comes to these things because they make or break your face they can make or break your makeup actually make sure you just take your time and if you have to go back in and conceal a spot or draw in a spot go ahead and do that take your time All right, you guys, we are all finished with our brows. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Or if you have any extra tips that you can give somebody else, make sure you comment that as well. Turn on the post notifications to be notified when I upload new content. Subscribe, most definitely, please, and like this video. And please follow me on my social media as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.